Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hey everybody, I'm going to need about 10 minutes of your time. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy schedule to spend a few moments with me here on SML TV. Let's talk about it. I know it's a few minutes before the news, as is my custom, and I love to do this. Love to, to hop on here right before the news so that I, I give you, I sprinkle a little opinion dust over your news feed and then I'll send you on your way. Let's start with Sean Tembo. I know I was supposed to talk about this a few days ago, but I, I let it go because the guy, he I've been saying this. I've been saying this from the very beginning. I've been saying this, and I will never stop saying this. Sean Tembo feigns sickness. Do you know this? This is his modus operandi. Sean Tembo is the biggest con on social media. He's been a con all his life. So here it is. Uh, he was arrested not too long ago because of spewing hate speech. And he loves to do this because that's all he ever does. I mean, he is one of the most disrespectful, one of the most putrid, one of the most repugnant political figures I have ever seen on this side of the hemisphere. Sean Tembo. So here it is. You know, he he this is the thing about Sean. He, he he spews hate, but he 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 refuses to, to take responsibility for it. There, I'll, I'll throw it out there. Let me say that again, because I think that's important. Sean Tembo is one of these guys. He comes on social media. He spews the hate. He spews the debauchery. He spews the malignant falsehoods. But then, Ngamamufianta, he refuses to embrace the consequences. And what does he do? The moment they arrest him, they're Sean. Oh, I'm sick. I'm about to die. Take me now. If if they don't take me to a better place than this, I'm gonna die. I'm sick. I know. I know. I said those those horrible things on my Facebook page. But oh God, I'm sick. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my fingertips. I don't know what's going on. I know I said those horrible things on Facebook, but I can't, I can't feel my heart pump. That's Sean Tembo for you. That's what he does. You know, it, it's, it's like that old saying, George Bush Sr. once famously said, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You can't feign sickness every time they arrest your behind. Take responsibility, Sean, okay? We're not going to feel sorry for a con artist that feigns sickness. Get your mind out of the clouds and start living. Start being a, a, a political leader instead of being that joker of a, of a clown. Every single time they grab you, you feign sickness. We're not, we're not buying it, Sean. And you know what they say? If it's not gelling, then it's not jello. We don't. And the, and here's the thing: the moment they release him, they the moment he walks to freedom. Guess what he does? Uh -huh. Finally out. Finally. Finally out. Let me go back to my house now, and let me tell off body. Finally out. Get real, Sean. Get real. All right. Secondly, Munir Zulu. I went to court today, incidentally. Did I share this with you? Did I tell you this? 
I went to court. I'm walking into the courtroom. Guess who walks out? Muneer. We, we lock eyes. He looks at me and I look at him. All I said to Muneer was, Muneer. And then he responded. He said, how are you? We walked right past. We didn't even stop. We just walked right past each other. So Muneer has been given an extra 30 days to locate Kaiser Zulu. 30 days. The court said to Muneer today, Muneer, if you don't bring Kaiser Zulu here, we're going to have to throw you a little behind back in jail. So that's the ultimatum. So, so the onus, the burden, the burden of supply is on Muneer's shoulders. He's got 30 days. And brothers and sisters, if he doesn't bring Kaiser Zulu to the courthouse in 30 days, if he can't look at that judge and say, Judge, here he is. Here he is. If he can't say those words, guess what? They're going to send his little behind back to jail. That's what it is. All right, number three, Savoy. You know this lady from this NDC president, Savoy. You know the young lady that used to be a singer. Back in those days, those kids were legends. Now, Savoy has become a bit of a political nuisance. Here it is. She's encouraged the NPF to resign from parliament so that they can create a constitutional crisis that would warrant a general election. Talk about sabotage. Now, of course, it's not going to happen. The NPF, the members of the, of the notorious Patriotic Front, are not going to resign because there are consequences to that. And who wants to go into a general election anyway? But here it is. Savoy is speaking out of her ears when she says things like, well, what you could do is that you could resign as PF and then we can create a constitutional crisis which would, which would in turn warrant uh, 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 a general election so that we can teach the UPND a lesson and they can stop harassing us. That, that, that's your solution? That, that, that is your solution to this crisis, to, to, to the crisis of the, the NPF thinking that they're being harassed, which they're not. I mean, when, they, when you break the law, the, the, the law comes after you. Okay, let's be clear about that. But what amazes me and what shocks me is that this would be Savoy's solution. Savoy, come on, give me a break. Give me a break, Savoy. That's not going to work. Nobody's going to do that. That, Savoy, is a harebrained idea. And it's going to land with a hollow thud. It will be dead on arrival. Nobody in the NPF is going to listen to that nonsense. Come on, Savoy. Come up with some better ideas. Lastly, this afternoon, I went over to the NPF secretariat. OMG, OMG, OMG. You know, I, there's a thing about that place. I'm calling that place Gaza. There's a spirit of angst around that place. Did you, guys, anybody that's been there knows exactly what I'm talking about. The moment you approach the NPF secretariat, your, your skin begins to crawl, your heart You begin to shuffle your legs because that place, the NPF premises, has a spirit. There's a spirit of political angst when you walk into that area, when you approach that premises. So earlier today, I went over there and I could feel it. It was it was overbearing. It was overpowering. It was almost it was it was crushing because any moment those NPF soldiers and Minyangunyangus, any moment they could have come out and attacked me. They didn't do it. They weren't there. Thank goodness. But but I, I want you to know that there is a spirit of political angst there, and we should call that place Gaza. All right. I think that's all. That's all I had to say. I need to go. I need to leave. Two minutes before the news, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. 
Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.